Hello everyone, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to discuss about the urban waste to energy conversion. As you know that in our country, there is a huge quantity of urban waste is producing. And that urban waste, whatever producing, that it is very difficult to dispose. And if you use for the energy production urban waste, then that is two way it is benefited. One, we are going to get the solution for its disposal as well as the energy scarcity what we are facing that energy also we are going to get from this urban waste. Here one of the method is that how the urban waste is producing and from that what is the fuel is producing that we can see the waste whatever collected in the urban that is transported to the uh, industry so the segregation and all these things are produced and from that industry the fuel production the to the sites industries there the all the urban waste are sent and then by the fuels are produced like a fuel to the vehicle fuel gas to the uh, households and electricity to be produced there are number of ways there are number of methods are used for production of the this energy from the urban waste and those number of methods are mentioned here the basically mainly named that is anaerobic technology composting pyrolysis gasification incineration landfill gas utilization like that many methods are there out of these methods i am going to discuss in this uh, video the some few common methods which are used in the urban waste to energy conversion urban waste to energy conversion is a term that is a used to describe various technologies that convert the non-recyclable waste into usable form of energy including heat, fuels and electricity. Urban waste to energy conversion means here whatever the non-recyclable waste are producing from the urban these are used to produce the energy in the form of heat, fuels and electricity. Urban waste to energy conversion can occur through a number of processes such as incineration, gasification, paralysis, anaerobic digestion and landfill gas recovery. These are the common methods which are used for the urban waste to energy conversion. And how much quantity of the waste is producing in our country? That is in India about the 62 million tons of urban waste is generated each year. About 43 million tons, 70% are collected, 30% will not be collected. Of which about the 12 million tons are treated and 31 million tons are dumped in the landfill gases. And from this, if you want to generate the electricity, then you can use for production of the energy from it. Then here, that urban waste to energy is a process in which the first all the wastes are segregated, such as the dry waste, wet waste, plastics and metals. Then those are used for the uh, conversion or by using the particular technology, particular methods to produce the energy from it. That is the, the dry waste is incinerated in the furnace and heat is used to generate the steam which runs the turbine and generate electricity. The wet waste is digested anaerobically or fermented to form a gases and liquid fuels. The plastic also can be uh, incinerated and it's a combusted. The metals are recovered and sent to reprocessing. If the metals are present, those are sent to reprocessing. Okay, the recyclable, these are the others are which are not recyclable. Then waste, whatever it is producing, that waste, there are two processes. One is thermochemical process and the other one is a biochemical process. Out of that, the thermochemical process, what is there? There are two in that incineration and gasification and pyrolysis we are going to carry out. Therefore, from this incineration, we are going to get the electricity from that. The steam is produced and steam is used to generate the electricity. And gasification from that gas for the fuel we are going to use. Gas as a fuel, it may be used for the vehicle or it may be domestic gas purpose it is used. And pyrolysis from that oil will be recovered from that one. That oil can be used as a liquid fuel. The biochemical process, it is a biochemical reactions will be carried out and by that there are two methods one is fermentation another one is anaerobic digestion from the fermentation we are going to get the ethanol and from the anaerobic digestion we are going to get the biogas 
and this biogas is used as for the domestic cooking and water heating purpose ethanol is used for the fuel for the vehicles thanks for watching and if you like share subscribe and comment this is about the urban waste to energy conversion